another cliche topic, and it's one that a lot of people are sure. I think you can use The only way, in my opinion, to make it easier for most end users to have a quote cloud native experience is to provide a more end-to-end -end platform. We want to make it easy to run Kubernetes on whichever cloud it is using GitLab. In addition, open source projects, bringing them into the GitLab fold is critical. Everyone needs source control, but then also CICD, security scanning, and other sorts of tools. Owning the entire life cycle of building applications from inception all the way to deployment and post-deployment, securing all that stuff. I struggle with calling it an app. It starts to feel more like a platform than it is an app. We did like an audit recently. I think we have projects using five different <laughs> CI CD tools, but this is just a more compelling option, you know, for them because they get more minutes and of course they get to take advantage of all the work that happens in the GitLab CI CD community. That community part is the best part of GitLab that we've seen in a long time from productivity tools perspective. People can come together and edit code and review code and then actually do CI on that code and get that code shipped out to containers and have it be run. Personally, it's one of my favorite tools because everything is open source and available. You have an intimate relationship with your customers. You're listening to them. I mean, that much is very, very clear. It's really exactly the kind of company that we're pleased to partner with. I think there's a lot to do in this area. It's exciting. Today would not be possible without many sponsors and you, the greater GitLab community, to make this happen. So I want to take a quick minute to thank our sponsors, AWS, DigitalOcean, Stack Overflow, Cloud Native Computing Foundation, Tidelift, Cockroach Labs, Finos, and Mattermo. So put your hands together because we would not be here today without them. Thank you, our sponsors. But if you know me, I like to talk. If you don't know me, now you know I like to talk. But I'm not here to talk today. We have Sid, our CEO, here to tell us about the power of GitLab. And I'm very excited to bring him to the stage. Sid, when you're ready, please tell us about the power of GitLab. Thank you. Sid, take it away. Thank you, Lee, for that introduction. Um, I'm really excited. Our first user conference, this is very exciting to be here together. It's so great that all of you could make it here. Today is about sharing how we use GitLab, how we solve business problems. I hope you learn a ton today and that you have fun doing it. Each of us here strives to achieve DevOps transformation in their company. And the people at GitLab are no different. Our very own Martin, and Martin, maybe you can stand up has led the charge for GitLab's DevOps transformation. I have a very hard time seeing into the audience because of all the lighting. There he is at the back. <laughs> Martin does not like to draw the attention to himself, but in the last few days, they've been able to combine GitLab into a single repository so that from now on, every time you make a change to GitLab, you don't have to change it in CE and EE. There's one repo, there's one way to do it, and it's going to really increase the velocity going forward. And we have a lot of people here that do amazing work. And we have a program to recognize that. It's called the GitLab Heroes Program. It is for people that contributed to our community that did code, that did documentation, and we want to enable them, we want to support them. So if you're a GitLab hero, can you please stand up? And can we get an applause for these people? Thank you, and if you're interested in becoming a hero, we'll have a booth here, and we'd love to talk with you about the program, and if you're interested, please, please do apply. Now, cycle time compression is key to business success. Cycle time is the time between saying, hey, this is what I want to do, and having it out there and being used by users. Mark Andreessen was the first one to articulate this, 
And it is key to business success because almost every improvement you make in a company has to be implemented in software. So therefore, all of our jobs are becoming more important. We're the bottleneck and the enabler to achieving change, to making improvements, to making the customer experience better. And the best practices you learn here today are going to enable you to achieve that business success. Today, GitLab is a complete DevOps platform delivered as a single application. All the way from planning what you want to do to monitoring the result of what you have done. It's been a long journey to get there. In the start, we had just version control. And it took someone else than me or Dimitri, my co-founder, to recognize that it should be more. We had version control and CI, but they were separate application. And at some point, Camille, an individual contributor at GitLab, said we should combine the two. And Dimitri, my co-founder, said, no, of course not. We've integrated them perfectly. They have single sign-on. They have custom APIs. It couldn't get any better. And I also explained to Camille how he was obviously wrong. No one in the marketplace combined version control with CI. He said, well, you might not believe it's better for the user, but at least believe it's better for us, because we only have to make a single application, and they have a lot of similarities. And now, that's something that we really like, efficiency, so we did it. But it turned out he was right. He was right about the benefits for the user. And that was a very fundamental insight, an insight we didn't have, an insight we learned to the feedback from our users. And we doubled down on that, and we started adding more. If you have CI, why not have CD? If you have that, why not have monitoring? Why not add security to it? Today, we have millions of users using GitLab version control and CI. I want to make sure that every part of GitLab will be as good and as popular as our version control and CI. So later in this presentation, I have a hopefully exciting announcement about how we're going to realize that. But before we talk about that, I want to highlight our mission. Everyone can contribute. Today, GitLab is making a product for developers, security, and operations professionals. We want to be more inclusive. Soon we'll have a product for product managers, for designers, for quality assurance people. And eventually, GitLab should serve every knowledge worker on the planet. Today, our vision of a, res of a single application is resonating with customers. We're honored and humbled that the likes of Goldman Sachs, Delta Airlines, NASA, the CNCF, are not only customers and users, but there were people who will stand up on stage here and share with you how they have enabled their DevOps transformation with GitLab. In total, over 100,000 organizations use GitLab. And it's also great to see more open source projects embracing GitLab. Open source is in our DNA. We have an open issue tracker. Our roadmaps are public. You can read and modify all of our source code. And it's very encouraging to see big open source projects embrace us. Today, you will hear from the CNCF, their GitLab CI usage. But you'll also hear from KDE and GNOME and how they did their DevOps journeys with GitLab. I'm really happy to see that the big bets we made in the past couple of years are starting to pay off. We bet big on workflow portability. Businesses now want the freedom to use multiple cloud providers. And the reasons can be many. Sometimes they want it to have a negotiation advantage. Sometimes they acquire a company that needs another cloud. Sometimes they need capabilities that are only available in a certain cloud. And workflow portability is the way to achieve that, making sure you can have the same productivity metrics, the same governance, irrespective of what cloud you use. As you'll hear from Delta 
and Genworth today, choosing a cloud provider should depend on the company's business objectives. It should not be constrained by technology. And GitLab wants to enable every one of our customers to have this freedom. We also bet big on Kubernetes. We were early, and we were sure that it was the way to have a common interface with the cloud to achieve that cycle time compression. We're also convinced that Kubernetes should be in the hands of both operations people and developers. Developers should be able to deploy directly to Kubernetes. GitLab does that. It empowers you to bring Kubernetes close to the product, put it in the hand of developers, and have first-class integrations with all the managed Kubernetes services. We also made a bet on security. We acquired a company and we made them part of GitLab. Security should be baked into the software development lifecycle. It cannot longer be a checkbox or an afterthought. In order to deliver faster cycle times, you have to shift left. It's critical to connect the developers and the security people in a company together. And to do that, you need to have a platform that provides the same data and information to everyone. The success of our customers and their use of GitLab is also leading to deeper partnerships inside the ecosystem. We're really excited to partner with HashiCorp. Infrastructure as a code is getting more important. And with Terraform, a lot of our customers are achieving that. Soon, we'll also have an integration for the much-loved Vault project. So we can layer in security all throughout your pipelines. You also hear more from users about Terraform today and in our conference in London. We're also excited to collaborate with VMware. They help organizations to empower their developers to innovate faster without waiting for infrastructure approvals or provisioning. And it's going to enable IT teams to reduce costs, increase efficiency, and create operational consistency. You'll hear from VMware in talks today and we're working with Vietnami to list GitLab in many marketplaces. At GitLab, we want, to provide, we want to support all the different cloud providers. It means first-class integrations for managed Kubernetes offerings. So I'm very proud to announce that support for Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service will be released later this year. So these are all good things, but there's still a lot of work to be done. What you see here is our current feature maturity. The hearts depict lovable features, features that are best in the market and that are loved by our users and customers. But currently, there's only three hearts in a sea of circles. It's going to require a lot of investment to grow the maturity of GitLab. Well, there's good news. I'm happy to announce that today, GitLab has closed a $268 million dollar round of funding. Investors like Iconic, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, Franklin Templeton, Capri, and 10 others value GitLab at $2.75 billion. And this is great news for all of us, because it's going to allow us to keep investing in making the product better. We're going to grow the maturity of GitLab, because we know you bet on us not only for where we are today, but where we will be in the future. Our goal is for, on November 18, 2023, we want half of our categories to be lovable. And we won't stop there, but we'll continue to spread the love and make GitLab more mature. And this fundraise is enabling us to do that. Transparency is one of the values at GitLab. And directly linked from our homepage, we show the maturity of our product. This chart illustrates what we did this year so far and what we plan to do in the next nine months. And I want to highlight some of the features coming in the next nine months that I'm really excited about. In the managed stage, I'm really excited about value management. With this, you can measure your DevOps transformation in a quantitative way. In the plan stage, I'm really excited for requirements management. 
If you are in a regulated industry today, you know you need that. And the existing products like IBM doors are not cutting it. By integrating it into GitLab, we can make that experience way better. The Create Stage is one of the best products in the market today. But I look forward to our web IDE becoming complete and becoming a fully featured solution. The Verify stage is also the best product in the market today. But I'm excited about having load testing as something that runs by default. It's not an afterthought. It's not something you do sometimes. But every single time you change something, you make sure that it can handle the load you're going to put on it. In the package stage, I'm excited about our dependency firewall. It will prevent you from downloading dependencies that might contain a vulnerability. In the secure states, I'm really excited about fuzzing. It's going to be a default part of making secure applications. And fuzzing, if you don't know it yet, it's automatically testing the boundaries of code in your application. Together with EAS, it will ensure that GitLab has all the popular types of proactive security. In the release states, I'm looking forward to incremental rollouts becoming complete. Because GitLab also has monitoring, this eventually will allow you to do automatic rollbacks. So you don't have to babysit your deployments, but GitLab will take care of that for you. In the configure states, I'm looking forward to runbooks, improving further. Runbooks help you to improve mean time to resolution by codifying best practices for you to use in incidents. And in the monitor stage, we're working to make GitLab a complete replacement for Grafana. And we want GitLab metrics to be the best in the industry. And last but not least, the defense stage. We don't have anything yet, but I'm happy to announce on the 22nd, we'll have our first defense thing where we'll release web application firewalls as part of GitLab. With the investment, we raised, we can make the vision of a complete DevSecOps platform a reality for each and every one of you. You bet on us to continue to improve. You said, I'm buying GitLab not where you are today, but where you're going to be in two years. And we're going to be able to hold that promise to you. So thank you for joining us in that journey. This is just the beginning. I'll be doing office hours later today for everyone who wants to come by. They're from 12.30 to 2 p.m. in the screening room in the white. I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope you enjoy the party afterwards. And I want to thank you very, very much for your attention.